I want to just talk to you all a little bit today about my life as a school student, as an adult, and now. And the way I like to express myself to talk to you about my life is a little something like this. My life, my life, my life. 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 Sit back and relax, if you will, because I'm about to bust a rhyme that is very chill. Because I came here today not to waste your time, but to introduce you to a very precious rhyme. I'm a unique person, as you can see. My name is Ann, but they call me Sweet Pea. I'm an intellectual person with an open mind. No longer visually impaired, now I'm totally blind. For those of you who do not know me well, that's about to change. I have a story to tell. My life, my life, my life. 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 Due to a disease called rubella, premature with a heart murmur and blind, but they felt I was smart with a well-developed mind. The doctors performed two operations on me that made it possible that I might see, but I still could not see as well as you do, so they had a special school for me to go to. For elementary school, I had to go away, but when I finished sixth grade, I moved home to stay. My life, my life, my life. 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 Public junior high, I was sure I would fail, but I adapted to the system and got along well. I started losing vision when I went to senior high to get along. Oh, the more I had to try. At the end of 10th grade, I had a baby son. I felt my life was over. It had just begun. As a junior, I thought about suicide. You wouldn't have heard my rap if I had died. My life, my life, my life. 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 Sit back and relax a little longer, cause I'm not through. And listen carefully, here comes part two. Well, I changed my mind and I think that's great because I had a little girl in 88. In 89, I was married and thought my life was complete. But lo, me hole in 94, there came two new little feet. In 95, diagnosed with a liver disease. Could I let that stop my plans and dreams? No, please. Went to college, studied hard to obtain a degree. Overcoming many obstacles, although I can't see. I've been influenced by Ray Charles and Stevie Wonder. Not gonna let life circumstances take me under. That is my life. It's history, so thanks for your your time and for listening to me. Now basically I said all that to say this. Anybody out there that has a goal or a dream, you're going to have some circumstances. You can rise above those circumstances. I did. And I know that Day to day in the schools for you students is going to be a task. But the music, the lyrics, and everything I've heard here today has been positive, has been telling you all that you have angels, has been telling you all to before you leave your home spray. That is one of the most important things before you leave your home spray. And always understand if you need assistance in school, don't be afraid to ask. It took me a long time before I stopped asking. I would consistently ask, and what I had to do was let people know that I wanted to learn. Let people know that in spite of my so-called disability, I wanted to focus on my abilities, and that's what we need to do. Focus on our abilities. And we also need to remember, look at the person beside you. The Bible says that he created us like unto his image. So if they look like you, then we're more alike than we are different. So I, I also want to reiterate to you all, no matter what your circumstances, always try to smile. Always try to sm smile because you never know who that smile is going to reach, who that smile is going to impact, and how that smile is going to impact. 